welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea. It's nice to have you guys here for part two of the massive London haul video series, whatever the heck this is. <laughs> if you watched part one, which was the fashion and accessories haul, you'll know that I'm filming these all in one day, so I'm still in the same outfit and still wearing my beautiful new Accessorize necklace, one of the few necklaces that I bought from Accessorize. So today I'm going to do, as the video would have suggested, a kind of books, stationery, souvenir-y kind of thing. And oh my god, I've got a low battery light. I was not planning these videos well. Okay, let me switch the battery really quick before we get into this. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so when I go to London, I do tend to buy a lot of stuff in museum gift shops, a lot of stationery and greeting card type stuff. That's kind of what this haul video is going to be. It's also a bit of a mishmash because there's some other things that just didn't quite fit into any of the other categories for the haul videos, so yeah. First thing is a magazine, which is the UK edition of InStyle. I was super excited to find this. I was so worried it was not going to be on the newsstands anymore because it technically shouldn't have been, but it's the final print issue of the UK InStyle, so I think they just left them up longer to try to sell them. And I wanted this one because it has a bunch of YouTubers that won a Project 13 award. That was really exciting. So Fleur de Force is in here, and Meg Says is in here, and Lily Pebbles, and a few others. So I just thought that would be fun to have. Plus, I love UK and style. I'm gutted that there won't be any more print editions, because I honestly like the UK edition better than the US edition. Then, at the Museum of London, didn't get a whole lot. I've gone crazy there in the past and bought like a ton of stuff, but I kind of controlled myself this time. I got this really pretty ornament that's I think supposed to be part of, yeah, the part of the Cheapside Hoard, London's Lost Jewels. There's a book that goes along with the exhibition, but I haven't gotten it yet. But I just thought that was something really pretty and sparkly and fun to hang on my Christmas tree. Got a couple ornaments from this trip, and they will be in this haul. And then I got this tea towel that was part of the Fire Fire exhibition. So it looks like that. You've got kind of the flames at the top, and then historic London buildings, including this right here is the old St. Paul's Cathedral by the looks of it. So they had this really great exhibition going on about the Great Fire of London in 1666 that was just so fascinating because that's a period of London's history that I personally am interested in. So I thought that was really cool and you can always use a tea towel. And then I got these page markers that are uh, little London icons. So you've got a black taxi, a post box, a red telephone box, and then the London double-decker buses. And then this one has the Battersea Power Station, uh, the Gherkin, the Shard, and the London Eye. So I just thought those were super cute. Um, and then I got this card, which I think I'm just gonna put up on my gallery wall in my bedroom, which just in, ro in gold foil says, London is where my heart is so true. So I thought that was cute. Then uh, I picked up this magnet, the only magnet I bought on this trip, but it just says Covent Garden and the postcode. I thought that was cute. My mom picked up a ton of magnets. They were like 14 for 10 pounds, I think, at this one souvenir shop, so she needed an extra one, so I grabbed that one. Then at Harrods, I picked up a couple things. I picked up this pretty ornament in blue with a crown, it's just a wood cutout. I just thought that was so cute and pretty. And I don't have a whole lot of this color blue on my trees, so I thought that was nice. And then I got this folding card of the Tower Bridge paper cutout, and then it's got Santa's sleigh on going over the bridge. I hope that's showing up. So I just thought that was super cute and a nice decoration. Again, I should send this to someone, but I'm totally keeping it for myself. From the V&A, I shared a couple of the jewelry pieces and hair clips that I got in the previous haul, but I wanted to put the books into this haul. So 
The only thing I got to do at the V&A on this trip was go to the undressed exhibition in the Fashion and Textiles Gallery. That was the main thing we wanted to do. My mom went with me. I've been to the V&A a number of times. I tend to go at least once every time I visit, usually because there's a new fashion exhibition that I want to see. And so I really wanted to see Undressed because it was a history of underwear, which is a lot more fascinating than you would think. So I picked up two books for the exhibition. One is the one that's kind of exclusive to the V&A, so I wanted to make sure that I picked that up. That was this little one. And it's just got pictures of several of the items that are in the exhibition, like these lounge pajamas. So cute. And then uh, this um, stays shift and hoop from the mid-1700s. So super cool. So the exhibition had a number of items ranging from you know kind of more historic pieces like corsets to modern items um, and everything in between so it was really really interesting so I wanted to pick up that book and then this one I think you can purchase this online but it's more of the items in the exhibition. So, drawing on 120 objects from the V&A Museum's important collection of historical underwear, underwear, fashion and detail, the latest in the successful V&A fashion in detail series, traces the development of underwear from corsets to camisoles and girdles to garters and allows followers of fashion to get close to some of the VA's most intimate objects. So it really was such a great exhibition. I mean, the corset on this cover is stunning and then the kind of ribbon bustier in the back is gorgeous. Okay, then at Paper Chase, I picked up a few little things. I got this glasses case because um, I can always use glasses cases, either for my glasses or for my sunglasses. It says, be your own kind of beautiful. I just thought that was really cute. And then I got this kind of writing set that's got 20 sheets of paper, 10 envelopes, and address labels that kind of look like vintage airmail um, letters. So I thought that was really cute. I got a couple packs of stickers, one that just has kind of London icons on them. And then one with pandas, because I love pandas. And then I got a plain, slim notebook that's completely plain. I thought it was lined pages, and then it turns out it's not. It's completely um, plain paper. And it's spiral bound, which I like. And I thought this would be um, my next bullet journal when I finish the one that I'm currently working through, because um, I knew I wanted something with spiral. Um, something spiral bound because I think that's a little bit more sturdy than the one that I'm using which if you've seen my bullet journal video I do kind of talk about that a little bit and then I like that it's got this kind of translucent cover but anything that I put on this first page like if I put stickers and stuff once it's closed you would be able to see that so I can kind of decorate the cover however I want and then have the um, plastic cover protect that so I thought that was cool. So St. Paul's Cathedral, I bought a few things from there. So I got a book about Temple Bar, which is a gateway next to St. Paul's Cathedral that goes, if you walk from Saint, from the front of St. Paul's Cathedral into Paternoster Square, you walk through um, and under Temple Bar. So it's just a history of this gateway. It's just really interesting because this used to be in a completely different location to where it is now and then over the years it was taken down so like this is a drawing of what it would have looked like in the past in the 1980s it was roofless and decaying in theobald's park i just got a picture there um and then eventually they moved it into um, where it now is next to St. Paul's Cathedral. So it was just three pounds and I'm really fascinated by the history of that piece of architecture. So I thought that would be good to have in my little collection of guidebooks and history books. I got a calendar, 2017 London calendar. that has a bunch of fun pictures on the back from all over London. So we've got the Shard, and St. Paul's Cathedral, Buckingham Palace, Tower Bridge, Trafalgar Square, Big Ben, Tower Bridge, Westminster Abbey, so yeah, really cool. So I need to hang that up. 
before January is done and I miss out on the January picture. I got this really pretty ornament which I saw on a Christmas tree in a restaurant across the street from St. Paul's. So some of you might recognize this from that vlog when I was in the Coppa Club. But it's really pretty and I don't have a St. Paul's Cathedral ornament so I was really glad to snap this up. But it just says St. Paul's Cathedral is kind of cut out and then the image of the cathedral is cut out on this kind of glittery gold disc. So really loved that. Thought that was cute. Um, I got a St. Paul's postcard. Hang that up somewhere. And then I got a note card with a drawing of St. Paul's Cathedral on it. I'm trying to get the reflection. So yeah, I just thought that was really cute. And then going along with the card theme, cards galore, I found all of these postcards that I thought with inspirational sayings on them that I thought were really cute and they're all in this kind of black and white theme so I thought it would be nice to put up in my room just to help me remember things and remember that things will be okay. So um, nothing worth having comes easy. Believe you can and you are halfway there. Tell the negative committee that meets inside your head to sit down and shut up. Really good one. Worry is a misuse of your imagination. Liked that. I can and I will watch me. Loved that. Always wear your invisible crown, which is a personal favorite saying of mine. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think which I thought was really good. So those are the ones that I got. I've got a few extras to give as gifts to a fr to friends. I thought for the ones I was keeping for myself, some I can put by my desk and some I can hang in my bedroom. So liked those. And then in Oxford, I went into Blackwell's Books, which is a favorite place for me to go. So I found this really cute sort of desk size calendar with pictures of Oxford. So it's got a bunch of pictures of Oxford in the calendar, I just thought those would be really nice to hang at my desk, and then I've got Oxford to look at when I'm there working. I found this really cute keychain, but it's got a fox, which is supposed to be noble, whimsical, and ambitious, so I liked that. But I just thought he was really cute. And then the last thing that I got is this book. And I don't know what the book is, because I haven't opened it yet. I thought I would wait until I got home and was doing the haul and I would open it on camera with you guys. So at Blackwell's Books, there's a stand where they have books wrapped up in brown paper. And they've kind of created this almost like old-fashioned ransom note description on the front that tells you roughly what the book is about, but you don't know what the book is. This is, it, all you'll know is on the back it just says, Crime and Thrillers. So you know it's a crime book. It was $7.99. Um, and the description says, crime detective novel set in Oxford. Very English, very quirky, and very funny. So I thought because it was set, it's set in Oxford, funny English, I thought this would be a fun one to try. So let's, let's see, let's see what it is. It's exciting. <laughs> okay, so. A Gervais Fenn Mystery by Ed Edmund Crispin, The Moving Toy Shop. As inventive as Agatha Christie, as hilarious as P.G. Woodhouse, discover the delightful detective stories of Edmund Crispin, crime fiction at its quirkiest and best. Okay, this sounds fun, this sounds exciting, so I will read this at some point and try to update you guys. You all, all of those who follow me regularly know that I have a ton of reading to do for school and I'm so behind on that. But I will try to get that read in between school books. Okay, so that concludes this haul, part two. So I'm going to reshuffle some things and get the next haul set up, which I think is going to be the beauty, the beauty haul. I don't know why I pause like that. It's the beauty haul. It's not going to be beauty and it's just beauty related stuff. Makeup and skincare and stuff like that from Boots and Primark and Marks and Spencer. I think that's where everything is from. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss it. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it because that means a lot to me. Leave me a comment down below just to say hi or to comment on any of these things because I love reading your comments and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.